Okay, what the hell is this? BBC says, Create Lives Matter slogan put on Bedworth Park Hillside. My lens, the horror. Council said the area had now been plowed over and reseeded. Basically, some joker in the UK took some like grass killing chemicals, some agent or whatever, and you know dumped it on some lawn. The flip, the phrase "Who hates lives matter," and this is being treated as, as some sort of like public safety issue. Apparently, we'll go through this real quick. Police are treating a "Who hates lives matter" slogan, which was etched into a park hillside, as a hate crime. The message is believed to have been put in Miners Welfare Park at Ben... Yep, yep, yep. Woolwickshire Police said it was being treated as a racially aggravated criminal damage and said officers would be increasing patrols in the area. Quote, this appears to be a clear attempt to stir community tensions and it will not be tolerated. Wow. Daft Goddard, more like. So yeah, um... The UK is dead. The UK is not a free country. You are not allowed to defend yourself against uh, impending hordes. You're not even allowed to own a gun legally, as far as I understand it. Uh, just like the United States, they have, or in certain areas, they, I think they have, like, duty to retreat legislation. So basically, if, you know, someone's com coming at you, one of these disparate factions uh, from another s-hole country coming at you, or maybe even multiple of them in a mob-type setting that's being emboldened by our uh, Western governments and by the bank and the corporate class that funds them, comes up to you and tries to, to off you. You don't have recourse to defend yourself. But, I mean, that's not being treated as a public safety issue. But this, but this, th this is a public safety issue that requires increased patrolling in the area, okay? Um, that's insane. Uh, Warwickshire police said it was aware of footage appearing to show someone in a clothing, quote, resembling a Ku Klux Klan outfit. Okay, probably not. And if so, I don't care. No one in their right mind cares about the Ku Klux Klan. And people who try to cl claim like they do are probably bad faith acting psychos who want to agitate for your country to be like this. <laughs> or worse. Um... The footage on social media appeared to be at the same site. So why isn't the footage in this article? I don't understand why they wouldn't include the the footage in this article. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really glad that I archived these links because giving giving these guys any sort of traffic is ill-advised because all they do is lie and push just stupid narratives. Like we should be afraid about a White Lives Matter slogan. Um Quote, a substance used to kill a grass was used to create the message and the area had now been plowed over and reseeded. Okay. Ian Lloyd, portfolio holder for Arts and Leisure, said, quote, this is unacceptable, disgraceful, mindless vandalism, which will place further costs on the borough council, yet again, diverting valuable resources away from the other grounds maintenance work in trying to keep our parks and open spaces clean and tidy for all to enjoy. That, that was a weird run-on sentence that didn't end the quote. That, that's really weird. Um, sounds like a rambling, queefy leftist Brit, Brit bonger. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. I mean, okay, I guess tech, on the most technical sense, this is vandalism because you are, like, poisoning the grass of someone else's uh, property. But it doesn't really seem like too many damages were incurred. I think they're just trying to, like, highlight the... Uh, fake outrage in a clickbait scene, you know, because somebody actually had the gall to write, oh my God, white lives matter. Well, what a, what a horrible thing to say. Uh, quote, look at, look at this. Such incidents incite racial hatred and are a matter for the police to investigate. Let's make it clear. There is no room for any racist behavior in our borough. So these people in the UK, they think that racism, they, 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 they think that, uh, Wow, they think that racism, it, racism, like someone not liking a race that is not white, is a matter for police to investigate. Okay, what is what, what is this? Thousands of people have marched in the UK as part of the Black Lives Matter demonstrations following the death of George Floyd. So they have the pepper in the George Floyd appeal, like right after 
right after. It's like, this is so carefully crafted to just make you an idiot. You know, like, <laughs> I, <laughs> again, archive everything. You know, everyone should be doing stuff like this, but archive everything. Don't let these jackals get your money, get your clicks, get your traffic. You know, but call these people out, especially if you're like me and you're sort of, you know, caved in or, or, or like boxed in feeling, you know. It seems like covering these events in person, these these protests, it's not really working. It's not really waking people up. Not that not that OBS videos covering blatant anti-white bias. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm rambling. Maybe want to put an end to this video, but just something ridiculous I wanted to share with y'all. And uh, I don't know. Share this video out. Make your own OBS commentary videos alongside yours truly. And, uh, yeah, just generally know, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Because I think that's pretty ridiculous and it's pretty systemically anti-white, if we're going to use uh, the less vernacular. Um, but anyway, uh, that should about do it. Subscribe, bitch.